Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 10 American heavy cruiser, the Des Moines. She's an exceptional ship, however she isn't really a frontline fighter with battleships. You can do it, but it's risky and usually will end up you regretting your decisions. So we're going to wait until ships whittle themselves down a little bit then try to use things like our radar for utility so that our teammates can get advantages. There is a minotaur in the middle, however there's also an entire enemy team surrounding the middle that we haven't seen, so we're gonna have to be careful. I'm spotted right now but I'm not too worried because I only recently got spotted and I'm gonna get behind the island pretty quickly. And now we're just waiting for something to happen, because I can't really take initiative in this ship. I need to see how the match goes first to try to take advantage of something. We're essentially an ambush predator. Ooh, an Udaloi at 6 kilometers. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is something Des Moines excels at. Oh, well, never mind, I guess. We can't exactly engage a ship that's already dead. So I'm going to skip a little further because nothing happens here for like the next three and a half minutes. Essentially, my team takes control of the eastern side of the map while the other team takes control of the western side. And the Minotaur is still in the middle that we're going to ambush now, now that uh, there's no battleships that could threaten us on our broadside. Radar is going to be quite a surprise to that Minotaur, I think. I mean, they're sitting in that smoke over there. And I have a Venezia with me. This is gonna be good. Hello! Oh! Edgar and Minotaur both completely broadside to at 7 kilometers. Wow, this... <laughs> 23k. Now, the Edgar turned in a little bit, so I took the next shot on the Minotaur. Main thing is that we have to stay safe here. Because we're gonna win the fight. It's mostly a question of time and how safe we're going to be ourselves. The priority is to wipe the torpedoes. Ooh. Goodbye, Edgar. Not very super now, are you? And now for the Minotaur. Now, the Des Moines is excellent at this because of her improved AP pen angles. It makes it very difficult for a ship like the Minotaur to angle enough because look, her aft is a pretty perfect tar target as well. I'll just keep shelling while I sail closer to the center because once the Minotaur is down, I'm gonna need to try to hide from their battleships, especially that Republic over there. Wow, the Venezia took a lot of damage, but well done by the uh, Venezia. This was an excellent ambush. And hey, we went from what, 13k damage to 106k in a matter of like what? one minute it was that this one ambush pretty much made it all worth it the entire time sitting and waiting there for like eight minutes at the start of the battle paid off and now we're just gonna sit here there's absolutely no real reason to push out again i mean there's a satsuma a republic a poman these are all ships that my ship isn't excellent at fighting and the only ships here with me are a Changmu and the Venezia. My battleships behind me are gonna need some time to get into position, so it makes sense to wait some more. Of course, this time waiting doesn't mean that we're gonna simply sit idle, because that Republic there is far enough, and if I get into a slightly better position, maybe I can shell her a little bit. The main thing is that I'm worried about the enemy Venezia here. I have to stay here to block the camp from being taken, at least until my battleships enter the camp zone. So until then I can't do anything risky. Because if they get this camp zone, it's gonna go pretty poorly. So here I fired into the island on purpose because I wanted to know if the Grozovoy was gonna spot me when I fire. And obviously I was only spotted by the plane, which means their Grozovoy doesn't have line of sight with me, or simply isn't close enough. The Grozovoy from the southern side. And now we can just shell the Republic, so I wanted to make sure of that before I started firing here, because if I get spotted here, you know, it's possible I get punished for it. 
Now is it the mine with um, legendary upgrade being able to accelerate really quickly? I probably won't get punished for this, but you know, it's never a bad idea. Like right now, I am spotted by the Grozovoi because she has line of sight from that direction. I don't know why we know that she's there, but you know, I would have had some idea. I have to be careful though. I am broadside to battleships. In other mine, it is entirely possible for me to just go down instantly. Okay, so the Satsuma is down, apparently. The Republic and the Paman are left. The Venezia is in the middle, but right now I don't know what to do. I think I should wait some more until the Paman and the Republic are, I guess, out of position. Because right now they're covering the Venezia a little bit. But in let's say 30 seconds to a minute, I think the Venezia is going to be alone here. She won't have backup from the battleship cover. I, I think the battleships are making a mistake. At least one of them should roughly stay where they were to be, keep covering the Venezia. But since they've left, I'm going to go out. And uh, hopefully we can ambush this Venezia as well. Okay, our Hanofa took out the Republic. That's very good news. Oh, Venezia has no idea that I'm coming, right? I'll be at three kilometers and she won't have a clue. Because I wasn't spotted when I started accelerating. As far as she is concerned, I might as well still be sitting behind that rock. But surprise, I'm not. Hello, broadside. 15k, I'm gonna have to start turning in because she does have torpedoes, which she's probably going to use. Because that's basically all she can do. But, goodbye. As a Des though, these should be fairly easy to avoid. Oh, Yugumo. Hello. I'm sure somebody can take care of the Yugumo. I'm also gonna sail closer because she is really close. And she might think that she's gonna just sit there and wait out the radar, but then <laughs> she's gonna get a little hydro surprise. I should also be able to take a few shots on the Pomman here over this island, maybe? We should be able to take the cap too. Oh, I'm surprised that the uh, gearing was actually able to take out the Grozovoi. That's well done too. And hello, Yugumo. Would you like to get spotted again? And this is just a mop up at this point. We finish off the Yugumo. Well, somebody else probably finishes off the Yugumo. We just spot. And then we go and try to fight the Paman. Which at this point, we can take our whole ship and put it at risk because it doesn't really matter. We have all three cap zones. There's six of us three of them are destroyers so there is literally no chance that the Paman could it's impossible there's no conceivable way she can't even fire her guns often enough even if she de devast or detonated everything that she hit it's just impossible so this means it calls for AP on the broadside of a battleship who isn't even aiming at me? Wow, this is amazing. Hello. And I think that's goodbye as well. Hey, turns out ambushing works. Well, kind of. I mean, technically we just waited for the prey to be properly in position and to feel comfortable. But we did 193k damage. Remember, the first 8 minutes we netted a whole of 13,000 damage. And then, in the next few minutes, well, a little more than a few minutes, we did another 180,000 damage. Yeah, that was a great push in the middle. And well done to the Venezia. 20 Citadel hits, by the way. And a nice 3,001 base XP. 3,000. Considering how I haven't played the game too much recently, I am very satisfied with this. 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you for your patience. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.